Well, this is not where I expected to be today. I had a whole plan of um, going out to the coast. I was going to do a, a coastal camp, paid for the train tickets and everything. Slept right from me out this morning, so that's not happening. Yeah, I had uh, like a put my community top post. I had norovirus last week, and it's uh, it completely written off. My body's not quite back to the way it usually is. So yeah, um, I've come out local area. It's I'm on the Miller's Way, which is uh, it's, I think it's a 51 mile hike between Kendall and Carlisle. Um, like I said, I'm just off the path for there now. Uh, I'm gonna have a hammock camp tonight. I'm gonna have a fire. I've got some dead easy food to cook. Nothing nothing too strenuous or anything because my appetite's still not there so yeah i've just brought some chili and some uh some nice rice out with us a few snacks usual bits and bobs couple of beers um which i'm debating whether i'll get through or not because i haven't drank so <laughs> we shall see but yeah should be a nice night anyhow let's see how we get on it's a nice bit of woodland but there's not an awful lot of uh, places i can string a hammock and a tarp up i can dip down a bit like I say, I am on a hill, so it goes right down to the bottom here. But yeah, I'm sure I'll find somewhere. Let's get it set up. And here we have it. Normal setup. I've got the one tigress uh, under quail, cover cue hammock. I'm just my usual uh, tarp. I do want to get a smaller one because finding uh, finding the trees to put. I think it's four by four. This finding the trees to put it between sometimes is a bit of a bit of a pain in the backside. So I've just tied this to this tree for the now. I do intend on dropping it back down back down here later on so it'll pull this end down nice and taut but for the now I just want this view really something to look at gonna dig a fire pit out around here nothing too big or anything like that I don't need too much it's really not gonna be hard to find wood it's just everywhere absolutely scattered so yeah I'm gonna chill out for a bit have a couple of beers enjoy the views enjoy sitting and swinging in my hammock as I always love and uh, yeah, get some wood processed. <laughs> right, let's start getting a bit of a pit dug out. And there we go, that'll do. Decent gap back from the hammock. Shouldn't get any embers bouncing up at us. The wind, if it, if it does blow, will be blowing back towards me here. So yeah, spot on. Let's get some wood done. Just from the area I've been sat around, I've managed to get a decent amount of wood to start off with. It's really not gonna be hard to find enough to keep us going for the night round here. It's just, it's everywhere. There's so much dry wood. It's exactly what I need. That's all the little ones ready to process now. Then got a decent pile of beer as well. And these are all the, the bigger logs I'll get the saw onto. Decent fire coming up. There's still the big logs to go.
Right, I think I'm going to do one or two more logs and I think I'll be good for the night to be honest, there's loads down there now. Oh, for this one. And this one. Gonna have to get this pit dug out a bit more. Right, so no fire lighters this week. Got some uh, some home gear, a couple of empty loo rolls, and this stuff is uh, fantastic for getting fires. It just an accumulation of fluff out the uh, tumble dryer. And there we have it. That's going nicely now. Off from Trumbull Drive Fluff. There we go, that's a life now. We've got this new toy. My old head torch stopped working last time we were out camping. It wouldn't take any new batteries or anything, so I thought I'll get something that will last. But yeah, this unreal bit of kit. It's got five different settings on it. So we've got the normal light, the battery's meant to last about 50 hours on that. It does uh, recharge. My only complaint with this is it's not USB C. Um, it's the old type so yeah you've got to carry a separate cable or I do have to carry a separate cable about for that anyhow so yeah it's got five five light modes that being the smallest oh if we can get it to work that being uh, 100 lumens and then this one being 200 I'll show you what it looks like in the pitch black in a bit and then if I can remember how to work it we've got the red light so it doesn't mess up your night vision on the night and then it's got uh, the SOS as well, but we'd, I don't need to use that right now. So yeah, new bit of kit. The weight of the whole thing comes in around 35 grams. You can spin it around so the off button can't get touched when it's in your bag, which is really handy because I found that my last one just knocked on a lot in my bag. Yeah though, 35 grams, five different light modes, rechargeable, absolutely perfect. Really enjoy this. Right, so let's see how far this head torch beam goes. That's on this normal setting, so this is the setting that should last about 50 hours. That's 100 lumens with added smoke, and this is two. Yeah, so up and down again, that's full beam. Then we've got the red laser as well. So I don't know what that looks like on the camera, but I'm moving that up and down. And I can see a decent amount of... Uh, this is the bottom of me. So yeah, decent bit of kit. Right, this is what I got for tea. So when I said I got some nice rice, it's this stuff. Never actually tried this one. I've tried a few uh, the same brand different types, really good.
and then we've got stuck all this inside the pan just to save uh, a bit of room in my bag packet of noodles which I honestly don't think I want to end up eating bit of salad and then like I said some chilli which is already made up um, so I'm just going to heat that and the rice up and add a bit of salad that's me I am going to use the old camping gas tonight as well because I've got so many of the canisters, like I say, I've got two of them with us. I've got so many canisters with like a quarter of gas in. I was like, let's get them used up instead of buying more. So yeah, cost of living crisis, camping gas. <laughs> Not like that. Tasty. Right, best get this uh this line tied back. And there we go, now that's pegged down. Nice and tight for the night. Taps out taut. Fire's blaring. Good night, people. Right, good morning. It's about half seven in the morning now. Slept for about nine and a half, ten hours. I'm really nice, I absolutely love sleeping in a hammock like I really do. <laughs> Fire burned down nicely last night. That'd be dead easy to square away. Gotta get a coffee on first, so get that in the system and then get packed up and uh, get away home. I'm not gonna hang around here too long this morning because, yeah, don't really want to outstay my welcome. It's an area I'd quite like to come back to. Right then, let's get this squared away. So that's where I camped from the outside. Just up there somewhere. 
got this massive field if you head down that way that takes you to Adria Woods got the river petrol just beyond this bank here and this is the way I came in I got out of the woods just in time there just started to rain now I've got about a 45 minute walk on so not too far um, yeah hopefully it stays off a bit but I think that'll be it for this video let's not get the camera too wet so yeah thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next one